President Trump is showing us the leadership of a president and the kindness and strength of a loving father in the case of baby Charlie Gard. He's offered to help Charlie and communicated in a tweet you may have noticed the other day, if we can help little Charlie Gard, as per our friends in the UK and the Pope, we would be delighted to do so. That was an invitation by the president to Charlie and his family. Despite the European Court of Human Rights rejection of Charlie, Charlie's parents' appeal to overturn the decision of British courts, hospitals in the US and Italy are offering to join their fight for his life. We insist that the British government intervene, respect the parental love and authority of his parents, and force this hospital to discharge little Charlie Gard. I think we could say that we're really asking little Charlie Gard to be set free to go home to his parents. Whose ethics will prevail in the case of Charlie Gard? His parents fighting for his life or a hospital fighting against feudal care? Medical authoritarian rule or parental rights and responsibility? Quoting Wesley Smith at first things, whose baby is Charlie Gard anyway? That is the crucial question. And what follows that question who has the right to determine his, quote, care? I put, quote, care in quotes here because what the government insists it must do cannot be called care. Mm -hmm. Charlie parents, Charlie's parents want to rescue him as any parent would want. They understand that the odds are against his being rescued, but like all great parents, they are not only willing, willing to, but are anxious mm -hmm. to take those odds and fight for the life of their child. They want to truly care for their child in a way that only parents can love. They love him in a way that an institution, a hospital, or government simply can't. They love him, they, the hospital will not even allow Charlie's parents to transfer him to others who do not see this parental love in action as an act of futility. This authoritarian act, backed up by judges, is a groundbreaking authoritarian act. It cannot be called care. It can be called dangerous utilitarianism. They believe that they, not Charlie's parents, are better qualified to assess the value and quality of his life. They believe that they should assess the quality and futility or relative utility of it, and in all the ethics surrounding the questions of Charlie's care. The hospital and judges say Charlie's life is not worth a fight, and so they will not even discharge him, allow him to leave the hospital. They insist that he must die here and not at home. But whose baby is Charlie? It doesn't take a law degree or an ethics degree or even being a parent to see the obvious. Children are not the property of any state or any institution. They're not even, quote, owned by their parents because they are not commodities to be owned. Charlie is not owned by anyone but loved into life by Chris and Connie Gard. And all we ask England, of England, is to let their better angels fly and let the guards love their child.